I was invited to present a paper at the Genocide Conference in Memorial and to commemorate the massacre at Srebrenica. And in 1995, in Srebrenica, in a United Nations safe haven, 8,000 Bosnian men and boys were massacred by Serb soldiers. And it was the largest massacre in Europe since World War II. And the 10-year anniversary of the mass deaths was also going to be the time in which Zarajevo would host uh, a conference on genocide. And I was invited to give a, a paper based upon my work at the International Criminal Tribunal for the former Yugoslavia. And I happened to be teaching the War and Human Rights class at the time. And I mentioned it to the class and said I was going. I was absolutely going. And if they wanted to come too, they were invited. It was up to them. And a group of them decided that they would go with me. And one student said she left the classroom and she went and got a passport that day so that she could go, her first passport. They were an exceptional group of students, but it was also an overwhelming opportunity to be there, to participate, to remember in person, and to be changed by the experience. There were 50,000 people at this memorial, and it was intense, of course. Um, the students participated in the excavation of a mass grave. They were witnesses. Uh, we went to the reburial of 600 bodies of Bosnian Muslim men that had been excavated from mass graves around the area. A collection of, of Muslim imams, of teachers, people who were burying the dead from the area, people who came to bear witness, to bury the dead, and world leaders were all in attendance. It was a Muslim funeral. There were people praying. One of the students said to me, what is that sound? And I said, it sounds like rolling thunder, but it's the sound of people praying. It was phenomenal to be there. There is nothing like being in attendance, to witness, to be there in person. And from there, we went to the genocide conference, and the students listened to papers on genocide for a week. The Bosnian hosts in Sarajevo were so kind and so generous. And it was an experience to be in Sarajevo, which is a living cemetery in part, but it's also a testimony to human resilience and not looking away and not trying to repress what had occurred, but to bear witness and to go on living, to go on tending and mending. And from there, we went to the International Criminal Tribunal for the former Yugoslavia, where the students were in attendance at the Milosevic trial. So they got to see that today, there is no impunity for these crimes on such a mass scale that are crimes against humanity. It was, in that way, I think, encouraging. And also somewhat, it gives a kind of an energy to know that there are good people all over the world working to stop this and it makes a difference. We went to the International Criminal Court and were able to interview and to meet with one of the judges of the International Criminal Court. This is the first time that there is a permanent solution to crimes against humanity that are ongoing, to make sure that leaders know that in the future they will be held accountable. That was inspiring to students as well.